know. Um, this one's gonna be a doozy. Hey guys, I'm so glad I'm finally doing this video because all of these bags have been right there blocking the way to my closet for the last like week and a half. Today we're gonna be doing a huge try on haul. And when I say huge, I mean big. I think it was almost exactly a year ago last year. I did a huge clothing haul, but I think that was more summary. This one is for school. Oh no! I start school this Thursday, August 1st, in like three days. This is a problem. I need clothes. So that's why I bought all this stuff. Let's just get into it. Um, the first star is Urban Outfitters. The first thing I got was this really cute... I feel like I'm gonna say cute too much, so I'm gonna get some adjectives. Adjectives for cute. I found this on the web. Oh, not adjectives. Synonyms. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I got this dainty top from Urban Outfitters. What I like about it is that it um, has a lettuce edge on the top and bottom. And it's when you wear it, I don't think you can see it, but you'll see on the try on. It's like a square neck. And, um, it has this lining down the middle that makes it look like it's inside out, which I think it's cute now, but I feel like when I get to school, everybody's going to be telling me that my shirt is inside out, and I'll be like, I know. Second thing I got, and the last thing I got, were these pants. And I think these would be perfect for when we storm Area 51 on September 20th. Um, they come with this belt, by the way, which this belt is like a car, like a car seat buckle. And I've been looking for one of these for a while, which is, this is like the main thing that drew me to the pants. And then they're just like long cargo pants that flare out at the bottom. And then they have pockets on the sides. So this can be handy for, I can put my pencils in here um, on a test day or something. But I just really like the look of this with the long sleeve black shirt. It's kind of like a Kim Possible vibe. Second store I went to was H&M. Um, this bag is a little beat up because I've had this since last week. Um, the first thing I got were these really adorable socks. Um, they're on sale for three dollars. They're originally thirteen. Um, it's a pair of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven socks. So one for every day of the week. And they're like they have little a more like lettuce edge at the top, and they like will stick out of my shoes really nicely. And they have different colors and designs, and I really like them. Second thing I got from H&M was this plaid skirt. It's super basic. It looked the same all around. Um, but this would be cute with the black shirt that I showed earlier and some other tops I have. This next door is the place I got the most stuff from. I would show the bag, but it's um, pretty rich, so might not be the best idea. I got the most stuff from here. And it was like the cheapest. It was like $60 for a bunch of stuff. So the first thing I got were these jeans. They're Tommy Hilfiger. Do you see that patch? These Tommy Hilfiger like mom jeans. They're a little big, but I'm going to get them altered tomorrow. They're just the classic fit and found them in the men's section. So they're nice and high waisted. It's this large Izod. I don't know how to pronounce it. Collared men's shirt. I'm definitely going to crop it. The last shirt I got is iconic, really. Can you read that? It says, Yield Dad Ruth Remote. And it's sewn on, so it's high quality. I thought this was funny. Like, I literally just thought it was funny. And I can wear it with some black jeans or a black skirt. Now for outerwear pieces from Goodwill, I got two jackets, an Adidas sweatshirt with a little um, scrunchy neck right here, super comfy and soft on the inside. I wouldn't necessarily get another sweatshirt because I have so many, but this is like, I feel like it's nice enough to be worn like to school, like as a statement piece rather than just a sweatshirt. So I really like this one. I saw a champion sweatshirt too, and I thought I had to get it because I knew it'd be like a 12th of the price of one from Urban Outfitters or something, but it was like not comfortable, so. 
the second outer art piece I got from Goodwill is this Faded Glory um, corduroy button up. The corduroy is super um, high quality and so I really like this. I can't wait to see how I'll pair it. Lastly is pants or bottoms. I got four bottoms. Four bottoms. It, at any other store that would be like $200. First pair I got it's something I wouldn't usually buy, but I really like these. Um, these are like a kind of swishy material, and they're bunched at the, at the ankle. These are the pants that you see like your neighbor mowing the lawn in, you know? Um, but I like it, and it has pockets. And I feel like I could like pair this with a cute enough outfit where it's like fashionable, but also super comfortable. Then I got these pair of super nice corduroy pants. I really like these. They have pockets. They're just super nice corduroy material. They're already rolled up at the ankle. So once I get these altered, they'll fit really nicely and they're high quality, perfect for winter. Super excited. This is a pale yellow um, Nike skirt. It's like, I think it's a tennis skirt, but it's like really nice. It's high quality. It has a little Nike embroidery there and it has a pocket on the back and it zips up and it fits me really nicely and I really like it. Lastly, this is probably the favorite, what? This is my favorite thing that I got here. I got some black pants with a little patch on them. Oh, they're kind of a cargo style. They have a pocket right here, but it's not like a lot of pockets. And I just love these so much. They go all the way down, they flare out a bit, and they're actually long enough for me. Like, even when I go to the American Eagle and get extra long jeans, like the longest pair they have. I'm six feet, by the way. Um... But they still like only hit my ankle but these actually go down all the way so i feel blessed to have found them and that's the last thing i got from goodwill that was probably the place i got the most stuff at and i'm super happy with everything i got so the last clothing place i went to was american eagle and two of these things i got online and i just put them in this bag because i already recycled the bag that they came with online um so the first thing I got, very similar to the things I just showed, but these are some black boyfriend jeans and they're kind of a faded wash. They have little rips. Oh, I just inhaled some fabric. They have little rips um, in the legs and in the knees and stuff. Um, and then they are like a straight leg. Second pair of pants I got, I really, really like these. They're really unique and I just been loving the corduroy. Um, these are like a pink, not pink, like mauve corduroy. I'm saying, am I saying corduroy weird? Corduroy. Corduroy? Corduroy. Corduroy, yeah. It doesn't sound like a word anymore. But they're just pale pink and they flare out here and they have like little hem. I really like them. They're really stretchy. Um, so they're just like a different kind of fit than my other corduroy pants, but I really like them. I feel like it's a unique piece, so I don't just have like blue jeans every day with a different shirt. You know, I feel like I can really spice it up. These next few items I got in store, but um, was this, which is in literally pretty much the same color. This is like a pale purple lavender, and this is like a mauve. Oh wait, they look different because my window is right here, so it's more exposed. But um, I really like this skirt. It has these like structured pockets. Um, and same on the back so yes I feel like I'll be wearing a lot of skirts this year which I like because I feel like they are a more unique outfit than like jeans also it's gonna be hot the first like couple months of school so I need to be comfortable then I got two shirts the first shirt is this um, leopard print one with a lettuce edge on the bottom and the sleeves I feel like leopard print or like animal prints in general are really in right now and I feel like this would go really well with a pair of black jeans because it could pick up the black in the shirt. And then the last thing I got from American Eagle was this plain white shirt. Oh, I just said, I need to spice up my shirts. But it's just a plain white lettuce head shirt. Because the I have like a basic white shirt because I think you always need a basic white shirt. But it's getting like a little beady because um, I've had it for like three years or something. So I just thought it was time to refresh. So, yeah. And then I got two more pieces from Pakistan that I ordered in the mail, but they're not coming for a while. Um, I got this snakeskin, like, long skirt. It's not real, obviously, but um, I really like that, and I thought it was cool to, like, branch out. Like, I've never had a long skirt, and I've never had a pattern like that, so I thought that would be really cute. And then I got this turtleneck. 
then um, I'm so excited about these. Online I ordered these shoes from Nike. We all need a new pair of school shoes and I had a $50 gift card that I got for Christmas and I was like, I need to use that. So I got these beauties. They're the Nike Air Max 90 QS, I'm pretty sure. And like black, gray, and white. And first of all, they're so comfortable. Second of all, they're so cool. Like I have a black pair of Vans and a white pair of Air Force Ones and those are pretty much the only shoes I wear to school. But these, I just feel like they're plain enough to wear with a lot of things because they're black and white. I have a hard time getting shoes that aren't black and white because I like can't see myself wearing it with a bunch of stuff. But like this makes black and white look so much cooler because it's not, they're not plain, you know? Then I got two things from Target. So the first thing I got was, and I got this loop chain belt from Target. It um, is pretty much a copy of the Brandy Melville one. And so I wasn't trying to drop a lot of money on a belt because why? And I was just already at Target. So it's not even really a belt. Like it's not going to hold your pants up, but it just adds more to the outfit. The last thing I got from Target was this brown tote bag. And I know it looks like a mom purse, but... My last purchase was from Apple. Oh. Um, right now, Apple is having like an education pricing promotion. If you get a MacBook Pro, you get a pair of Beats for free and then 20% off Apple Care. I didn't do the 20% off Apple Care, but I did get the Beats. They're in this beautiful bag. These are the Beats Studio 3 Wireless in Space Gray. Not Space Gray. In some kind of gray color. They're like gray and gold. Anyway, you can't see it. Um, my computer is not ready yet because I'm getting a like RAM upgrade, but I ordered the 13.3 inch uh, Space Gray MacBook Pro 2019 with the touch bar. It looks like this. I am so excited. I went to the Apple Store like twice in two weeks to just like ask them questions. I did so much research. I've been saving up for this for like a long time. I like pay for half of it and my parents are paying for the other half because it is for school. I'm not gonna do a school supplies haul just because I don't go kind of I don't go crazy with school supplies. I just kind of get what I need. So I just wanted to add these two things in my haul because they're for back to school and I thought this would be the most appropriate place to put them. That's everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this inspired you for things to wear um, when you go back to school. Comment down below when you go back. I go back in three days as I mentioned. Very excited. But the good thing is we start on Thursday so only two days of school before the weekend. I'll definitely be doing a get ready with me before the first day of school so watch out for that and make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at MySophiaYT. We'll see you guys later. I just made a huge mess.